Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 0.23. And of course in this episode we aim to get the Vern Lunar Lander onto the surface of the moon. However, I have to express the fact that I'm not entirely sure how, how well I'm going to be able to do this. It's a tricky business, and I've only ever done it once, and the one time I've done it was with the uh, Apollo Special, the uh, special number six with the Apollo lander and that was that was a surprise to me as well so so I don't know I have not had much practice even attempting such things as these and so we hope for the best but expect expect chaos uh, especially since we're short on Delta V this time around uh, we'll only need one of the Olish rockets technically, but I guess we'll eventually fire the other ones just to give us an extra boost. Uh, so we'll plot for the moon. No reason to turn right now. The moon is over here, so we should probably plot from over here. It's always better to do it from an ascending and descending node, but since we're not going to be able to do that... Oh... How's our inclination with the moon? Let's take a look at uh, 3.8. Wow, that's pretty far off. No wonder this is looking like this. Um, okay, so we did have a situation with the inclination, uh, 3.8 degree issue, but I've plotted it out, and it looks like we can do a maneuver like this, uh, 3130 meters per second and then follow that up with this 89 meter per second burn and that will get us to within 60 kilometers of the moon. I think that will do. We'll see. Uh, it depends on how good we can hit these sorts of maneuvers. Uh, this thing turns like, like uh, well it doesn't want to turn at all so let me just uh, have the flight computer handle the turning part of it since I don't have the patience and I don't quite see the node here yet. Now, taking a look at it, I don't think, uh, I mean, we're talking about uh, burning 300 meters per second off of the lander stage. The lander was expected to bring us into orbit and to down to the surface, but uh, for it to handle this part is uh, somewhat of a stretch. It's a good thing we're not planning to return with this thing. Obviously I can't uh, dump the fairings yet because that will actually also dump the third stage which we clearly still need. This flight computer isn't all that great. Well I guess it lines up one axis at a time or something. Okay. And best not to have the flight computer try and do anything more. We'll just have SAS keep things stable and then wait for 42 minutes. Okay, will be a fairly long burn, I think, though tough to say exactly how long. Let's get a uh, look at our RL-10A, very unstable, of course, and we're going to use all rockets to fix that, and perhaps a little bit closer to the maneuver node. Let's try it. I don't know why it does that, a little burst of something or another. What is that? Uh, that's electric charge. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Alright, third stage is relit and we are executing our burn for the moon. Translunar injection. Okay, third stage is about to run out. Okay, there it goes. Let's fire off the remaining Ullage rockets and then throttle down and then separate the stage and throttle up a bit and let's continue. Alright. Uh, yes, we have lights on this, so lights are on. But you can see stage delta V, um, 
orbit around the moon is 1,600 meters per second, so we expect we definitely have to burn all that off. Getting into orbit around the moon, probably around 300 to 500, depending on uh, where we're at. So tack, let's say 500. And then there's the question of how much I get to burn in order to uh, actually make the soft landing, right? Because we're talking about not just burning off the velocity around orbit, but also I have to make sure we come in safely. And that usually takes me quite a lot because I'm overly cautious and uh, do it very slowly. Fortunately, the surface gravity of, uh, as far as acceleration is concerned, of the moon is the same as the moon in regular KSP. It's just the fact that the uh, physical moon is bigger and thus has a greater gravitational parameter. Uh, but the actual acceleration is the same, so at least I don't have to adjust too much of my thinking for that. But uh, we're basically going to have to try for like a suicide burn down to the surface with the kind of Delta V we have. That doesn't mean we won't get any science on this mission. Remember, we can transmit some of our science. We've got plenty to do here. So... I think, uh, yeah. We've even got, a, uh, Well, we've got stuff. Okay, I'm going to, uh, take it easy for a sec. Let's see what's happening. Oh, this key thing thing. I need to shut that off. I uh, need to bring this up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, well, I guess we can get in as close as we can, and then there's, but there's another adjustment that needs to be made, right? We've got this one over here, and we're totally off from that now. Okay, well, now we're, we're off. Okay. Um... We don't have the, what you got, um, RCS rockets on this, so that's a problem. I need to bring this a little bit down so that we can regain our encounter with the moon. There we go. Now, let's change this to what we actually have and try and bring it down. Okay, well this will do. That'll do. Let's see, maybe we should just go for the surface. I mean, I, uh, there's really nothing to lose. Uh, this thing can't return. But uh, yeah, we'll do this burn in four hours. And that will get us pretty close to the surface of the moon, it looks like. Oh, uh, let's get this uh, key thing controls out of the way. Hmm. Looking at my electric charge, uh, it's been a little bit of time since I've actually built this. Uh, did a few other activities along the way. I think we're just turned in the wrong direction to get electric charge right now, that's all. But we'll keep this away until we finish this burn, so it should hold out. Yeah, it's looking okay. Oh, uh, did we have uh, communications configured properly? Let me just double check that. No, we don't have our main antenna up. Uh, let's have that targeting G-STAT. Activate. Alright. And uh, let me hop to G-STAT to make sure it knows what's up. Oh darn, I forgot that this isn't 23.5, so my maneuver node is now gone. But uh, I guess we did have to do this, so... Okay, I've replotted and it costs a little bit more, of course. Uh, though it might be because I'm doing the node a little bit quicker than I was before. But uh, we should be all connected up, that's the important thing. Oh, 
Okay, that'll do. Well, we'll see what we can do once we get there. Yeah, I think it is time to proceed into the Mooner Sphere of In Mooner. Lunar in this case, Lunar Sphere of Influence. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. It did one of those things. It decided to change what my whole thing looks like. Hold on a sec. Oh, and I really need to turn this so that it gets electric charge, but... Um... Okay, that'll restore it, but I, I don't like the fact that it decides to take it away from me like that. Costing me another 10 meters per second here. Actually, uh, it might be better if I do it now rather than later. Let's see what the effect is. Alright, that'll do. Okay, now let's uh, orient so that we're not uh, having our rear end facing the sun. Let's get some solar panels facing the sun, shall we? Facing more fully should... I don't know. The antenna could be in the way if we try and face it directly. Could be, but let's see, let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey. Hmm, I think the antenna is definitely in the way. Judging from the electric charge depletion. Let's let the... Uh, SAS settle down here because the reaction wheels do consume electric charge. Okay, it looks sort of balanced right now. Let's see. Oh, tapping the wrong one. No, it's still depleting. I should uh, disable the commutatron. I mean, it seems to be restoring but uh, yeah I can disable the this commutatron now deactivate let's get this back over here hopefully that should help not really By the way, have we done Mystery Goo out here? No, we haven't, but it's not worthwhile compared to uh, bringing it into moon, uh, lunar space. Okay, so what I'll do is... Well, the lights shouldn't even consume much. But let me turn them off for now. Okay, now the electric charge is restoring. Maybe the lights did consume a bit. Oh, there it goes again. By the way, we still have a moon encounter. Let's just go for it. I can't keep making these tiny corrections. Oh, no, nah, now nah, it's giving it to us back. Okay, we entered the uh, moon sphere of influence. And we're going to expect to burn that periapsis for the surface. It looks like we're 86 kilometers above the surface right now. And we're going to make it a single burn. So let's see how much that'll cost us. Wow, just to get into orbit, a tight orbit uh, costs 800. I underestimated that. Well, we might as well go for it. So, we're either going to land or crash. Uh, it will be a noble attempt either way. Let's see. Let's not go down too quickly, though. We want to land on the right side, and it looks like we'll be doing that. 
Okay. We're in the Moon Sphere of Influence. Let's try that GUI experiment now. Okay, uh, I think we should transmit this data. Yes. Don't think we need far at this point. 39 science, was that all we were going to get? Let me just, uh, oh, I guess we can't do anything about that now. All right. Gravioli, let's log, gra no, we've done that before. Okay. Temperature, can't be done. Barometer, of course, can't be done. All right, uh, I think we need to get near to the moon and do another uh, goo experiment, and then we'll at least get some more science from that. Okay, what an approach. All right. Perhaps we should make it into this crater. We'll see how fast we can burn. I think we'll need at least three minutes, uh, uh, six minutes, uh, three minutes on one side, three minutes on the other. Let us turn to the maneuver node once uh, physics is within our control. Uh, look, uh, no, there's no way. Uh, we're not going to survive this, unfortunately. Uh, take a look at the surface speed. It's 2,418, and uh, we've got only 2,281 meters per second worth of delta V. So should we leave this in orbit and try and... Well, let's get into orbit first. But we could just leave it in orbit and uh, use it as a communication device. We'll get its uh, communitron out. And so we'll be able to do that. Let's see if we're low over the moon right now. Near the moon, yes. So we can transmit this data. Yeah. Okay, and that's 39 signs, as expected. Let's get the lights back on. Uh, I don't think there's any point in... Let's see. Oh, Midland Craters. All right. Transmit that data. Okay, 66 science. That was what was expected. Let's log temperature. Oh, that's that's good too. All right, let's transmit that. Okay, 24 science. Barometer. It doesn't believe that there's any atmosphere around the uh, moon. I believe uh, we have sent probes to discover that there is a tiny atmosphere there. So yeah, my vote is I don't want to completely waste this. Obviously this is not adequate to land on the moon right now. Uh, but we'll activate the Commutron 16. And so that will help uh, communicate with uh, future missions. And this will uh, maintain communication with the G-Stat. I mean, for now. Uh, the G-Stat can uh, disengage with it uh, at will. So it'll try to communicate with GSTAT, but if GSTAT says no, then then that means no. Well, maybe I could just uh, have it uh, communicate directly with Mission Control. Well, no, then th that'll give it less coverage, actually. Well, if we're going to have this be a communication satellite now, Perhaps we should keep it a little bit higher. I wonder if we're on a different biome for a more gravity experiment. Do we only have one of each of the gravity uh, of the experiments? Uh, looks like it. Except for some reason, I have two barometers. Explain that to me. I think I've I missed something. I should have put uh, like a seismometer or something, and instead put a barometer. Okay, I think I should uh, stop this here. And in fact, boost up the orbit at Apoapsis to help with communication, so that I can help with communications. 
I don't think I'm gonna have enough margin to make a landing at this stage, so we'll. But we won't. Whoa! What kind of a thing is that? Oh, uh, it was trying to modify this. At least we will get some use out of this particular mission, and yeah, it won't be a total waste. Okay, that'll be fine. Close, not not bad, but not quite close enough. Its butt end is aiming at the sun, isn't it? Well, we'll keep it like this for now and uh, reorient it after the burn. So, sorry for the disappointment, folks. Obviously, we were expecting a moon landing today, and uh, that did not work out. We did get some science done, so it's not a total loss. Wonder. Oh, we've lost connection now. Well, that's what uh, we can hopefully mitigate some of the future losses of connection. Uh, yeah, okay. So, do we only need one gravioli detector? Is that uh, a modification that uh, Realistic Progression Light made? I don't know. Okay, well, we're past our maneuver node. It didn't really matter because uh, the orbit was arbitrary. So, we thought we were going to land on the moon, but instead we got the beginnings of our lunar satellite network. And don't underestimate the value of this, because uh, in previous experience, we've got little probes like the High Toss 2 probe, which was just the leftover of a stage. And also, uh, I think we've also got uh, another little leftover, the Sputnik 5. There it is. Uh, Sputnik 5, which is still in orbit that is just uh, hanging out there providing extra communication support and there have been occasions where those have saved us so just because this isn't a formal communication satellite does not mean that is completely useless uh, oh well that's not a very good read on surface speed because we're not uh, close to the surface at all uh, that does give me that makes me think now, now that uh, the speed is so... but I, I don't think I could have made it. If I tried to dip the orbit down again, it'll... well, god sakes. Did I mess up? Did I... would, would I have been able to make it? Now I have doubts. Anyway, um... Let's see, let's try and orient this so that it can uh, get maximum sunlight here. And then we'll turn off the lights. Where is the sun? Oh, uh, we're not, uh... We're not on the sun, su sunny side yet. Let's get this uh, set up properly. And then uh, we'll try... We should try something else. I mean, I don't like duplicating missions immediately. Maybe we should try something else. But maybe we'll try this again. I hesitate to leave things as is. Okay, there's the sun. Let's point north. And we can shut off the lights. Hmm, waiting to see if electric... maybe if I turn off SAS. Not a good idea, actually. Let's, let's time warp a little bit to see if how electric charge holds up. It is depleting a bit. Looks like I can't really run this antenna and this one at the same time. So it's not really useful as, uh, as a satellite like this. Hmm.
not really useful as a satellite. So, so maybe we should crash it into the moon after all. Because eventually it's going to deplete of electric charge and just not be able to maintain communication. They can't keep both antennas open at the same time. And then I'll get my answer how close we really were. So this, this, this is the point. Uh, we'll see how much we need to add to this. And we'll have some margin because I, to, I did that burn to boost our orbit. So, so that's a little bit of extra margin in there that uh, we wouldn't have had otherwise. Uh, hmm. I am currently issuing commands to control this, but it is not obeying. I need to change this. So, oh, uh, because I've got time warp. Uh, I need to change it so that we do have a signal delay. I think that is the thing I have to do. So because it's apparent that the electric charge is insufficient to make this a communication satellite even though it was sufficient to make this a uh, lunar lander we'll uh, make it a lunar impactor for science uh, let's get the lights back on and let's get the gear down just for the show of it okay surface speed please This is, yeah, do not expect this to survive, folks. There are no miracles here. We're just seeing how much more Delta V we might have needed. At least I've got that time to impact there. I really should make sure I have that on my other other installs. That's an important number. Okay, well we're going to impact. Let's aim for this crater. Okay, here we go. Time to impact 13 minutes. I think we've got about 3 minutes on this stage. Okay, let's orient retrograde. Well, now you can see the 1600 meters per second that I was talking about. It's really... Oh, we've got no connection. Ha! Ah, well, okay. Maybe the next thing we need to do is create a satellite network around the moon. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that is uh, the next thing, because now we're just going to watch this crash. We're so close. But anyway, uh, you can see 1,700, so no less than 500 meters per second more. And that's quite a huge difference. Uh, if there's ever any a sign of connection, I'll, I'll try my best, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, here it goes. Approaching the wrong way around at incredibly high speeds. Ooh. 
So it's oh, it's always a question: What kind of impact KSB is going to give you? And we 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 got that one. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, so uh, thank you for watching. We'll try better in future episodes. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.